Here we go with the uh, crystals nearing the end of World 2. With this party, there are no shortage of narrow ways to victory on these crystals. There's a lot of interesting things you can do. Looking at my setup here, you can see everybody is floating. That's a pretty standard one from the chemist for um, the earth one. So that's the one we're going to start working on first. I also have Killer Bow and Doom Axe going on with... Uh, with these guys so you can get a very small chance to have the instant while wow, all four targeting my uh, berserker that is notable um so right away as much as i can i'm going to try to have my archer targeting the uh the top and the well so the non-earth pieces i guess and so not really the fire one because i can resist fire pretty easily but the really the front and back ones are the ones i'm hoping i can maybe land a doom axe or something on um, so, wow, with the ber Berserker that low, um, I might actually have to um, start healing here soon with, with everybody taking the same hit at the same time. Uh, first, we got to try to get some speed advantage. So we're going to go Turtle Shell, Eye Drop. Um, that's a mix. The only one with mix, sadly, is the, uh, the White Mage. I haven't spent as much time grinding. So the White Mage is the only one who's going to be mixing. But first, we got to get that speed advantage. There was a check for Doom. And so now I have to hope that, yeah, in this second round, we don't have a bunch of people um, or a bunch of the crystals all targeting the Berserker again because I do want to get the Berserker healed up. And I am going to have the uh, Chemist do that just with a high potion. That's his regular innate ability. Where are my high potions? Just with the regular innate ability, the Chemist has to double the uh, effectivity of items. Um, and then the Chemist and the White Mage can then start putting on Blink on everybody. I'm still going to try to land a killer hit. And then I may also go to work on the, uh, the Earth Crystal. So eventually my um, Chemist is going to move into the front row and start attacking the Earth Crystal. That's, that's the plan for eventually. Let's get the Berserker blinking first, I guess. And I can get the Berserker into haste status. Let's get some more Blink on. Yeah, and I don't have access to Shell with um, with everybody. So my White Mage Ferris down there is the uh, the most versatile character I've got access to right now. Maybe I will start working on that, that Earth one just to reduce some of the damage coming in. The Killer Bow proc is pretty, pretty narrow. And look at that. Already both of the bl uh, Blinks are gone from the Berserker. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put her in haste, though just so that we have Doom Axe swings coming in a little bit more often. And then now we'll reapply the blink. One of the ways you can win this battle is just by sitting back and even with just one Berserker, but having access to the, um, the Archer as well is good. Um, you know, another thing I can do, I'm just thinking of my strategy evolving uh, mid-battle as it usually does. Um, I can get darkness going on these guys, I think, if I spread out uh, the dark bow. So that'll help reduce some of the damage incoming. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do once around the block with the dark bow and see if that can uh, preserve my blinks a little bit better. All right. Um, I think I'm ready for Galep to jump into the front row and start uh, working on that earth crystal. Because once it's into its thing, it's using earth shaker, then I can just kind of forget about it. And I don't know how easy it is to apply darkness status on, on all of these guys, but we'll see if we can get it to stick. All right, so there's a fresh blink for her. Let's get a fresh blink on Gala. So if we can get darkness to stick on... Ooh, there is a Doom Croc on one of the crystals that I needed to happen on. That is really good, actually. That is really good. Um, I absolutely needed that. Okay, so we've gone once around the block with the Darkness Bow. Um, that's going to be part of my strategy for the end game here. Um, the other one, I might as well do it now. Um, I'm going to put Resist Fire onto my characters so that we can um, take advantage of the Fire Crystal on top. So that's Ether. Right, nope, that's Elixir. Ether and Eye Drop. So we're going to go down, down the list. Ether, Eye Drop. One, two, three, four... Try to get some better dances here than just the charm dance. Um, so now we're going to go back to the killer bow. 
And if we can get the killer boat to land on that front piece, then we're going to be in really good shape. Actually. All right, let's do another eye drop. Ether on the Zerk. This is going to be rather expensive on the ethers, but you can also use Drain Kiss to suck a whole bunch of uh, HP out of these guys. But I wanted to preserve as many turtle shells as I could because grinding for turtle shells with this party is not super easy. They don't have uh, area of effect damage that's uh, that's easy to access or easy to get to, so um, I'm going to try to. Ooh, there, so there wasn't a darkness darkness attack that didn't take away his uh, his. Protection. So I have about 50 turtle shells, um, and I used a few of them already. So after resist fires on everybody, I will start casting shell. And shell will help just in case I take uh, a uh, one of the magic attacks from the front piece, the uh, the aqua breath. Pretty soon I'm going to have to start healing it uh, if I want to, if I really want to seriously avoid it, I will have to start healing it. Or, yeah, maybe I'll just, I'll do a cure three on that, uh, on that front piece. There we go. Cool, nice dodge, thank you. I wasn't sure how much damage that front piece had taken and I don't have shell on yet. With Shell, uh, my characters should be able to survive. And actually, I don't know if I um, put Resist Fire on Ferris. Maybe I did already. That might be an error, but I got a little sidetracked there. A little nervous about that front crystal. Okay, good. We should got darkness going on. That's nice. Okay, so now let's just get Shell on. Um, there's Shell. We'll go from the bottom this time. And that Killer Bow I'm hoping gets a good proc there. Um, we're gonna just keep working on the Earth Crystal here. Once we get the Earth Crystal into its thing, I can pretty much ignore it. Um, then we can start working on the Fire Crystal, because the Fire Crystal with Resist Fire uh, will be healing us all the time. So we uh, we can hope to get a good thing of the Fire Crystal healing us as the, uh, the other one is hitting us with uh, the Water Spell. Keep, uh, Aqua Breath, I keep getting that wrong. All right, um, I get a little great. Oh, there's a Killer Bow hit, nice. So uh, we, the two that we needed to take down with the instant death attacks are both down from instant death attacks. Very good. So the back one from a Dumax, that was very lucky. And then the killer bow, real nice. So now we can just kind of hang out, take our time. Okay, so Earthshaker is trying Earthshaker, so I'll start working on the fire crystal now with the killer bow. Because the Earthshaker one is going to do literally nothing. I'm not sure exactly why I'm keeping Shell going, because <laughs> I should be just getting healed by the uh, by the fire when it comes. So that should be no problem. We're pretty much immune, except for the physical damage coming from the fire crystal. Because that, that Earthshaker one at the bottom is going to keep trying Earthshaker over and over again, uh, to no avail, sadly. Do I have a flail on her? Ooh, I actually can put on the Morningstar. Let's get some physical damage from that white mage. Nice. Not a whole lot. I'm going to go back to work on the uh, the top piece just to stop the physical damage incoming. And there's the earth one just down with damage. That's not a max. That's just uh, from the from the damage it did. Okay, it's critical. So we'll know if I executed my resist fire correctly once this one uh, goes into its fire routine. Unless we land another instant hit, but I wouldn't bank on three. You can, in this fight, you can just sit back. It could take a really long time, even with just one Berserker and a Dumax. If you can just kind of sit back, have everybody healing, or everybody protecting. Having a White Mage for Blink is really nice for that, but you can just kind of keep healing, keep throwing high potions at the crystals. All right, there's Fire 3. Let's see if I got resist fire in everybody. Oh, all right. 
Interesting. Uh, looks like it's expired, maybe. So, uh, we're in a... Uh, not trouble, but we're in a, a tricky spot here. Um, let's do this. Let's raise him. I should have put resist fire maybe on herself. Um, yeah, especially because Gala doesn't have tier 3. I should have used resist fire on herself. But um, I can at least throw a high potion at Ferris and get her back up to full. So uh, with her shell, she should be able to eat this fire 3 coming in. Uh, let's see if he can do anything before he's going to hit the ground again. He can't, so we'll let's see if he can end the fight right here. Ooh, uh, maybe I can get him a fresh resist fire. Ether, eye drop before the next one comes in. I don't know if it'll actually hit, but if I can... Oh, there it is. Never mind. It was low enough on health that I didn't really need it. Uh, but if that had gone, then the next fire three, I probably would have had everybody survive because Ferris had shell... go. I think I must have made a mistake in my menuing there. I'll have, I can watch that back. I'm sure someone watching it will notice. I must have made an error in how I was applying the, the resist fire. Um, maybe double applied it somewhere and that took it off. That reversed it. That could be. Anyway, that is the crystals down.